All right, so I'm at the river. I, uh, I fished just upstream a bit. Uh, didn't get anything though. So I've moved downstream quite a ways and I figured I'm gonna do a uh, more of a how-to type video uh, on how to catch these, uh, anything but river sturgeon specifically. I had a buddy ask me how I do it. So I figured I just might as well make a video all I'm using is a, uh, a pickerel rig. This kind of setup here. Or a surf rig, depending on what you want to call it. It's just two hooks connected to a weight. That's all it is. Um, using fairly heavy weights. It depends on you know what, what water body you're fishing. Uh, like if you're fishing in a, a lake, you don't need as heavy weight. But uh, the current's pretty strong here. You can also use uh, these type of things, these slider things, and then uh, connect that to your rod and then a, a leader and then hook. Those work well too. Uh, any, As long as it's your bait is close to the bottom, you can use uh, downrigging equipment too. Just stuff like that. Um, yeah, as long as it stays close to the bottom you should be fine because they eat all the crap at the on the riverbed as for bait anything you'd find dead on the riverbed so you know cut up sucker smelts minnows leeches i use almost exclusively night crawlers honestly nothing better than just a worm on a hook as for how i rig them up though i try to conceal the hook as much as possible i think that's key because i think I think they can tell when they feel. I try to cover the hook up as much as possible. If you have to use multiple worms, do it. Don't matter. And I also find that uh, if you have any of these kind of smelly uh, lotions or sprays, those work well too. I know this one says walleye, but it, it doesn't matter as long as it smells. They both smell the same. Those can help a lot too. Other than that, it's just a waiting game. Yeah, as long as it's as long as you can get your bait close to the bottom and have the patience to wait, uh, that's key. That's that's all I'm doing. I'm just sitting here waiting. I, you guys only see the fish being caught. I sit here for hours and hours waiting. So it can get tedious sometimes, but there's a rig hooked up. I got worms on here because I was fishing over there. Yeah, that's all it is. I got a three ounce and a two ounce and still getting taken by the current, so. As long as your bait is close to the bottom, get it on the bottom. They eat primarily all the dead stuff off the bottom. But yeah, that's really simple. It's not as difficult as people think. So, hopefully that helps. Um, I'm gonna get to fishing. Oh, this is so annoying. Oh, yeah, fish is still on. It feels heavy. Then again, everything does. Can't reel anything. What are you? Oh, it's a nice red horse. It's a gorgeous red horse. Oh, they're so cool. Oh, it's gorgeous. I got my first one of the season earlier today. Please stop. Gorgeous fish, bright red tail, super cool, nice big silver scales, red horse. Alright, we'll get our lease on this guy.
super cool. My favorite of the, uh, actually maybe a cool back, but big shiny scales, bright red tail. They put it, they fight hard too. They're cool. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Sucker, maybe? Walleye? Can't tell. It's not fighting very hard. It's kind of heavy. Where are you? I need the target species. I can't reel anymore. Oh, it is the target species. We got a sturgeon. Right on, right on. That's what we were looking for. Oh God, it's sharp, sharp, sharp. Gotta be careful with this one. Almost cut the line in the... There we are. Little river sturgeon, lake sturgeon. Target species, that's what the uh, whole thing was. God, these are sharp. So this was the, uh, the target species. Little, little, little guy. Uh, cool, these are super sharp. We'll get a release on him. There he goes. Heavy. It's heavy. It's really heavy. <laughs> this might be what I think it is, James. It might be. Oh god, it's fucking heavy. It's really heavy. Yeah, it is. You see a jump? You see a jump? Oh, please tell me I got that on camera. It's a nice one. It's a. Oh, this one's putting up way better fight. Way better fight. He's not ready. He's not ready at all. My drag isn't even that loose either. It's just, it just doesn't want to come in. I'm sorry. I see your look of despair. We'll get you. We'll get you one. Man, this brings me back to Steelhead. That's what it reminds me of. Big heavy runs, yeah. Like this. Oh, that jump, that first jump was sick. Oh. He's not ready. He doesn't want to come in. Sick. I can just, I can still see him in my head. All right, you're coming in, bud. Sorry. Look at that rod bend. Such a lightweight bend. Get him, get him, get him. Got him. Got him. Bring him in. I got him. You got him? Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Uh, just done. Just here is fine. Here? All right. Uh, I'm going to just take my... Thank you. This... This might break it. This is, looks better than my other one. Oh. If you get the measuring tape. 
My boot is soaked. I'm full of water. Tip of the nose. I got it. 40, 49. At the very tip, that's about 51 inches. 51. That's better than the last one. Man, this thing jumped twice. Super cool. That was good. That was a good one. All right, it's your turn now. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Um, so we're gonna try and get James one. We're pretty sure he lost lost that fish that I just had. Um, I'm covered in mud. This boot is soaking wet. But it was worth it if it meant the fish is uh, okay. That one was, what was it? 50, 51. 51 on the nose. So, that was better than my last one. That was 48. That one put up w way better of a fight. You guys have seen the previous video the other one i set the hook and it took like one good run and then it got itself tangled in the rig and just came in sideways it was like hauling in a log that one jumped twice like the stereotypical straight up in the air awesome awesome fight that one i hope i got the good footage of that <sighs> they're my new favorite fish honestly <laughs> those are so much fun so much fun It's a little sturgeon. It's a little sturgeon. He jumped in the air. That's so cool. They're really jumpy today, apparently. Come on, you're not that big. Give it up. Jump again? Come on, jump. Oh, he's actually not bad at all. Oh yeah. Did you fish here often? Uh, not often, no. Pretty new to this Holy. spot. What is that guy? That's a sturgeon. Wow. Yep. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Do you think you just kind of let the bottom crawlers? Yeah. Yeah, they just kind of eat all the stuff that's on the bottom. Thank you.
are you? It's got a little bit of weight to it. Never mind, it's just coming in. Funny. Oh, it's a nice walleye. It's a really nice walleye, actually. Or, no, never mind. Not a bad walleye. That's my what I meant to say. That was on worms. Walleye don't have teeth. Oh yeah, they have teeth. Right. Well, I got teeth. Well, I got nice teeth. Um, if you wanted to keep one, this would be the one. It's a yeah. good eater. He swallowed the hook again. I'd... I have, I have my broken wire thing. Here? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Come on. Yeah, he's bleeding. They inhaled the stupid hook. That's why I kept two yesterday. Because they just inhaled this freaking hook. He's bleeding. You can keep him or I'll keep him. It don't matter. I got two in my freezer already, but that's a perfect eater. Go ahead. Um, my stringer's in my car. I can get it if you want, or you could just throw them on shore. It doesn't matter to you. Uh, no, I'll, I'll go get my... Uh... Thanks, yeah. I lost mine. It's a freaking bourbon. It's a bourbon. It's a goddamn bourbon. This is my second open water bourbon ever. I wonder if the footage got that. I was too lazy to put my... Look at him! He's a little vermin! My second open, open water burbot ever. A lot smaller than I'd like because these guys are good eating, so. I <laughs> was not expecting that. I'm gonna have a little bit. All right, so it wasn't an awful day. Um, the issue with this river, and I guess any body of water really, is uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of other species, like those walleye, for example. See, this was a you know how to catch sturgeon. I did catch one, uh, just a little one, but I think if you really want to weed out any other uh, species and just go for big sturgeon, I'd use a, you know, bigger bait, obviously. So a, a big chunk of sucker or something, uh, bigger hooks to really kind of uh, weed out any other uh, bites. But I was just, fish is a fish. I caught a sturgeon. It, it, uh, it works, obviously. So, hopefully you guys uh, learned something uh, from this and can go uh, catch some yourself because they're really cool fish. They really are underrated, especially the big ones. They put up quite a fight. But yeah, I got uh, my first walleye of the year too, which I would have liked to release, but they really inhaled the hook. 
so they're in the back now as you heard um and my first uh red horse of the year those guys are really cool really my one of my favorite suckers besides cool back they uh, got that bright red tail but anyway uh that's that's all i have to say <laughs>